I was invited by Oxfam in Tanzania to visit some projects centred around women, motherhood, farming and land and to write about them for Oxfam. I'm partly here to discover a part of Africa, Tanzania to be precise, that has far more stories to tell than those represented by the usual mainstream media. Poverty and inequality are unavoidable parts of those stories. I'm here to meet women who've made a change in their lives and their communities, who've stood up and been counted and who've broken traditions and political barriers. Today we're in Morogoro and we're going to meet Sister Anna, one of our female food heroes. Anna was one of the finalists in the 2011 Female Food Heroes competition and um, I've heard that she's a bit of a rebel so I'm here to find out why she's got the reputation that she has and what she's been doing since. So much land. She left her husband taking her children with her which is almost taboo in the Maasai community and she's gone on to set up a new life for herself and her children. Initially she was rejected by her community because of what she'd done but she went on to enter the Female Food Heroes competition and right from the start she said, oh, I knew I'd be one of the finalists. She's very confident and um, just, just a very lovely woman. I, I thought I was quite a good cook until I came to Africa. <laughs> and now I realise I know nothing. <laughs> she was one of the finalists in the Female Food Heroes competition and with the solar panel that she won, she set up a communications hub for other women that might not have access to electricity to charge their mobile phones and other things. And she's also set up a women's group in her community. So Anna is like a whirlwind for change. She's a really inspiring woman and she's proof that one woman can make a massive difference to their community around them if they just keep going and don't give up. All over Tanzania, women work the land but are unable to own it due to cultural restrictions. Sister Martha was determined to change this. As a 17-year-old, she found some barren, unused land that none of the local men wanted. But when she asked the local authorities if she could use it, they laughed at her. Eventually, she fought and got her way. She's since turned 18 acres of unwanted wasteland into a thriving farm, growing sugarcane, sweet potatoes, bananas and more. In doing so, she's become a beacon of change for other local women, many of whom have now followed her example. The profits from her farm has allowed Sister Martha to support 12 local orphan children, providing them with food and shelter. I found this great aubergine plant and I'm really excited because this is something I can actually grow back home. Um, I've really enjoyed today. I've really enjoyed meeting Sister Martha. She's such an inspiration with everything that she's done here, all the projects that she's doing, all the people that she's helping and supporting. Um, even managed to ask her for some advice about growing fruit and veg at home. So yeah, I've had a brilliant day and I've got so much out of it. So I'm really glad I came. The most inspiring thing for me about my journey around Tanzania has been the women that I've met and the changes and contributions they've made to their communities. We've got women who are living in quite difficult situations, who've escaped quite difficult situations, women who are living in poverty, but who've managed to transform their lives and the lives of other people around them, and the lives of people in their communities for good. 